Hello, welcome to JK Knox Tales with Jason Knox. We're gonna create a, looks like a unicorn slash Pegasus that I drew out beforehand. And I am going to start adding ink to it. And I'm gonna show you how how I do it and the creative process on how I'm I make something um, out of my head, pretty much. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna start out um, with some basic, like light colors. I always go light. This is watercolor ink. So let's do some, and I wanna make it blue. So what I'm gonna do is use a light blue color here. And I actually think I'm gonna make the, the eye purple, but just to get used to drawing a little bit, I'm just gonna start making little um, shading spots around the eye, knowing it's gonna be shaded. Um, maybe do a, yeah, do a line around the eye, like that. I started out doing the most complicated part. I've always done that because I think if I can make a really good face expression on the, the face of the animal, then it kind of sets the mood of, of, and it makes me already really like what I'm doing. So, um, so I'm gonna do outline of the, the jawline. I, I haven't, drawn a horse yet, at least recently, so it's kind of an experiment with me. So I got that basic part down. So now I'm gonna do this blue color, it's really light blue. So I thought I would just do some shading at first. It's kind of fun and cool to shade it a little bit at first, because you know there's gonna be shading along the, like where the, where the to make it more of a three-dimensional around the neck, obviously underneath the, uh, his mouth. It's gonna be dark here. Um, and then, you know, anything, is, when, with watercolor, you, you, you know, the, the paper is white, so, and you have no white, so it's better to, if, if, you, if, if, if you're in doubt of, you know, what color you want to make it or how dark you want to make it, just leave it white. I always say, always leave it white and just do the light color that you kind of want to do. Like, what do you, what color do you want to start out with? So I'm going to ask some, I'm already have some, some good ideas on what I want to do with this illustration. I want to make it kind of a, I don't know if anybody has seen, if you've seen Grandpa Leon, the little kind of block work stuff I do. I'll follow some of the pencil marks. Eventually I'm gonna write the block work I do. Um, I'm gonna to try to do some of that, or I'm going to not try to. <laughs> I will, I will do it. Yeah, there's no trying in this one. You either do it or you don't. It's like, there's no turning back. Nothing's a mistake. Always go forward. Not backwards, figured out. So, and I don't know exactly how to draw a horse. And so I did look online. I just typed in horse running images and kind of checked out. That's what I usually do. Like I said, I look at like what kind of angle I want the face and just kind of look at it. And, you know, I made the eyes a little bigger and that's what I like to do, make them eyes a little bigger than, um, than normal. Kind of makes it a little bit more, I guess, more uh, personality. Like when they make more human eyes, like animes type stuff, you know, you want, it's kind of fun to make it, you know, this is gonna be dark, so. Um, make it a little more personal and things like that. I don't. I always thought if it's a doodle, like when I'm, I'm when I'm doodling, the, 
there's no limit as to what you want to change. You know, you don't even have to do an actual horse. So uh, you can just make some other, some random animal that looks like a horse, add a little quirky things to it. You know, that's why I always call it a doodle because, you know, I don't necessarily want to make it exactly like the creature. You know, I have the basic designs, but you know, like like, like this one's going to be, there's going to be a lot of um, color differences. I mean, there's no such thing as a, I don't know if there is, maybe a blue horse. So, so I'm just, um, I kind of know that all this is going to be shaded anyways so it doesn't really matter and if you if you if you're not confident totally confident on um not exactly the way you want it like like the the legs if the if they're if you might want to make it fatter and like sometimes i'll actually make it on the skinny side knowing that i could always make it wider it's really hard to make them skinnier it's almost impossible unless you're going to use some black or something to make the legs look skinnier once you've made it so i always try to sometimes you want to make something bigger than they normally are sometimes you want to make things smaller because you just kind of think one step ahead like do i really want to make that so on this one i can probably pretty much color the whole thing this way if i if i wanted to make it that dark but i really want to um, just want to make some basic um, colors, shades, and then come back and do some really cool, like little, little segment block type things for shading more. But it's kind of an experiment for me. To start out just doing some really basic lines. So you can see how fast you can just start creating it. I want to make the mane's going to be awesome. I want to make it kind of curly and three dimensional, and the wings are going to be. I was thinking about making them um, really detailed wings, like some of the stuff I've already done. Just really cool. Like in Taraya, some of the wings are um, really fun. So I think this is going to be dark. It is now. Whatever it is, it is. Like this is such a light color, such a light blue that, uh, you know, I could make lots of uh, little mistakes here and there. Not that many mistakes or variations to it. Try not to call things mistakes. Just changes, you know. Eventually, it'll work out. I always say, just move forward. And just never get frustrated with an, an illustration. Just push through it. And this is gonna be all dark, it's in the background, so I might as well just color it all in. This too. So, I mean, I could color all of this in. But I don't know if it's going to be blue, so maybe I'll use the back one blue. Because I could always go back with black, I can go back with purple. Uh, which was fun about it, you could shade it different colors. So I'm just going to do some basic shading. I could always come back and do more, just to show you how, how quickly you could just get things. So I'm pretty much following the, the pencil marks. And then I'm going to erase them, which is really cool. I don't know. I never knew that before I started doing this, that you could erase pencil marks after. So it's no big deal if you go over. Just don't make the pencil marks too saturated, too, too much graphite, because you can make, make it kind of a muddy, kind of make it a muddy and not so clear. So just make your pencil marks really light. And then once you feel like you have like the gist of, um, what you're going for, then you can start erasing. Like right now, I'm pretty close to saying, okay, I got it. I don't really need erasing so much. You know, well, I've, I've been doing this so long now, I just get used to knowing you know, where I can shade. So that's, that's how quick it's already done. So now I can start doing different things. So now I have that done. Oops. Um, now, here's my eraser. So I'm going to, uh, it's probably dry by now, erase some of these marks that I just made. So 
so I don't, don't need these guidelines anymore. Pretty much know where the nose is going to be. I'll leave the, even the eye, just take the eye out. I know where the eye is going to be. So I'm erasing all my pencil marks in areas that I want to do more detail on. So there we go. All right. Why don't we just work on the hardest part or the easy, funnest part? I wouldn't say hard. That's another word. I try not to use negative words because um, I get so used to saying negative things all the time about things like hard and difficult and it's, I'm, can't do it. Uh, if you feed yourself that information, you're going to think it's hard and difficult, not going to want to do it. So it's better just to say, no, I can do it. It's going to be fun. I'm, I'm really going to enjoy this. So I think I'm going to make that the eye a little bit purple. So I'll just do an outline. And it's like on the eye, it's always trying to make it um, wide. Horses have these big eyes. They don't have any white in their eyes. I mean, I, I, I put white in the eyes if I want to make it humanized, but I'm not going to make this look like a human eye. So, And I already looked at what I look like for horses. So. And then remember, there's a glare. There's a glare in the eye, and so I am going to put one in there. It's kind of like a, you want to make sure it's, you know you know the eye's round, so I'm going to make kind of a round shape to it to keep that roundness. So like right there, I remember the one photograph I looked at that they have these little slits like that, just little slits. Okay, and now I'm just going to use a really light blender just to give it more roundness. So I'm using, I'm um, actually going to use this pink color. It's got pink, oh, more, more like a purple, light purple color. As, and just start to slowly just kind of work it in. Don't want to make it too dark. I want to make it a little bit iridescent. I can always come back. I always come back and work it later. So there we go. You know, it's kind of like darker on the edges. Just kind of smear that that purple. I think we want like things things. If you want to look, make things look really cool with these markers, uh, it's good to just make a line and then blend it with a really light blender. I might keep a little bit of a dot there to get more glare. The more whiteness you have in the eyes, the more shine it's going to have. So it's better to have. It's kind of cool, huh? So one day I'll go back and do do um, the black, but I'm going to wait for a long time to start doing black because once you do black, it can smear. So it's better just to do um, do no black until you're completely done. So so now I'm going to do little squares just because I. On the, on, the, on the darkest part, and I'm using purple on the darkest parts. Just all kinds of shapes, kind of like, you know, like that, give a little bit of gap just for the fun of it. Just, you know, I know kind of what I want to, to accomplish and just be creative in making a shape. Like here, I'm making like a uh, funky little shape that goes along. So I'm going along the jawline Like a triangle type shape and maybe I'll make it the opposite triangle over here and I'm gonna use these little shapes that I'm making as I go just kind of inventing it as I go um, the more you do it the more fun it is you know I'm just gonna, actually just gonna go along the side of the face and then this is all gonna be dark anyways so I'm gonna use purples for the darkest and then I'm gonna find markers that are blues, little lighter blues to make it when I start to uh, want to go further into the face and go up in the face and do more detail there. So I'm just going to make funky shapes here, a circle. Cool. That's what you can do hidden images too. You can, you can just keep on going. 
I'm not sure where the hair is going to be. I kind of I want a lot of hair on this one, so I'm going to stop. If I think I might want to um, add hair there, I'll just stop and just leave it leave it blank, leave it white until I decide. And then when I put the hair in, a lot of times, you know, then then fill the gap in. So it's better to be cautious and to stop if you think you might want to do something later because you can't go back with white or so either way I sometimes I get I overthink things thinking who else knows but me you know <laughs> who else knows but me no one's gonna know but you know that's why you draw for yourself you draw it you need to be the biggest fan of your own artwork And you'll, you'll notice too, as you watch me draw, like right now, like, why is he skipping around? I thought he was working the job. Because I, sometimes I know what I want to do right away. Like, ooh, I want to put these little things around the eye. Be cool. Or I want to work on the ear a, a little bit. So, yeah, that way I don't get bored. I'll work over here and I might just want to go and do something different later on. And this isn't not necessarily like, I'm going to go back and fix things, but it hasn't necessarily finished yet. And I'll go back and do even more detail. So I have an L shape, you know, yeah, make the, make, make, make letters. Like if you can't figure out what, what shape to do, like, here we go. I'm going to make a, but an N, there we go. See, I can make an N. Just go, wow, you made an N, wow. So, make my name. O, X, except I didn't pick the K, but oh well. I wonder. So. So yeah, it's fun. It's like doodling. That's why I call it doodling because there's no real um, rhyme or reason. I might put something cool here. So I went just, I know, cause this is like a lot of times there's a, some kind of color kind of, kind of like, and a lot of horses will have something right here, like a diamond shaped thing. So I, I don't know if I want to mess with that. I know there's like a, a little line here. And I want it to be a happy horse, happy unicorn, whatever. It is. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of follow all the areas I've already done because, and then once I get into this area, I'm gonna make it even lighter, lighter blue maybe. Who knows, maybe I might make it yellow. You never know. So, and I might wanna tighten the spots up more. You know, that's why I said better, it's better to make it the, the things too small and then make them bigger and join them later and just have fun messing around with what, what what you think looks good, what you like. All right, so now I'm going down into the mouth. And this, I can do some bigger ones down here. It's really gonna take some space up here. Yeah, so it's really basic. You just kind of make it up. As you, and then you notice the more you do it, the more you like can use the same shapes in different places. Like, oh, that looks really cool. I know right here there's kind of like a, an indent uh, in, in this face. Sorry. So you can do middle circles. And right now I'm just pretty much following my own shadow line I made. I can always extend it, you know, but I don't want to do too much. So it's better to do not, better to just do a little bit at a time. You know, like, what, do what you're confident with. Just pick at it, it's like a little puzzle. It's like a, I turn it into a game, you know, just. What else do you want to add? So maybe do a triangle. A little L or a 
do like a yin and yang sign or something. Who knows? It'd be fun. Just whatever. over here because I know I have actually I have a lot of work I could do I could be doing this for several hours at this point uh, but once you get used to it you just go you go so much faster um, making little squares like now it's, you see that I it's the same pattern so I want to change it up a bit maybe do a, a couple more like a rectangles or whatever shape I mean, you can really get crazy and do like a squiggly line or an S or, you know, whatever you want. Right there, kind of match it up. So this is the first illustration of probably several where I'm just going to do the video of the whole thing and then when I'm done with this video if you want to watch the whole series on how I do it you can purchase it I'll just scan it in and then um, it'll be available on whatever a t-shirt whatever you want to have it on a sock underwear <laughs> or whatever so I'm getting pretty risky here but kind of getting along the eye. And I want to try to get all the little dots out. Like I, I'll go back and just kind of fill the dots in that um, I want to have. I want it really clean and crisp and make it. So when it does scan, especially if I'm going to scan it bigger, I want to make sure that there's no little white spots or spots that look like unfinished. What's great about using markers, it's just so fast and so you can make things so quickly once you know what you're doing, get a gist of it. Oh, this area is going to be really dark, but I don't know if I'm going to use purple. So I might just switch it over because it's going to be the nose and, and all of that. So I might not, I might even change the color here. So I'm not going to mess with that right now. I'm going to go down into the the neck part. Let's do the letter F. <laughs> yeah, so if you can't think of like ideas for shapes, just think of the alphabet. You could always do that. So a bunch of lowercase eyes. Hmm. All right, so, and then I can add more different colors in there. And I can do some big ones here. Let's do a big one, big square. I can do like an L shape around the square. Two L's. Couple of circles. You can do circles. You can just do all circles if you want. That'd be fun. If you just don't want, if you want to do something different, just um, change it up a bit. Maybe you want to do all the same shapes. Turn it all into triangles or circles, or you know, make it look like it's gonna make it look like it's all like a made out of bubbles or something. You know, it's kind of cool effect. You know, you don't never don't necessarily have to make it look exactly like the animal that's what is cool about just your imagination you can make the horse multicolored or textured or that's what makes art 
cool. Like you, you have limitless possibilities and actually the more crazy you get with it, the more you don't try to make it look exactly like it. You know, what if you, what if I decided I want to make it like scales? Like I can make it, wouldn't that be cool? Make a, a horse that's made out of scales and yeah, that'd be pretty cool. So that could be a whole series. It's just like changing whatever coat they have into another animal, making a, a leopard, maybe yeah, that'd be cool. A leopard look on a snake, the opposite. So you could, might, well, might as well, that'd be awesome. And no one, I don't think too many people have thought of that idea. Um, yeah, you can take my ideas if you want. I'm sure there's many, there's plenty of ideas out there for everybody. I don't think there's any, you're never gonna run out of a new idea. There's plenty of them to go around. Don't steal mine. No, you can steal. Just don't steal my art. <laughs> no. Um, no, really, don't. Just kidding. Not really. So you can see how that's, you know, I can just, I can just keep going. I could go for hours just um, doing this, you know, put some good music on and just, you know, once you, you get in the, in the groove and you probably spend several hours doing this, just making these little purple lines. Yeah, you can see how I jump around. It's because, you know, if I feel like I want to go somewhere else and I have a good idea, I just do it immediately. And then, see, I don't want to do uniform. So I'll just move down here and change it up a bit. Just kind of let your creativity take over. The more you just let go, that's why I call it doodling. The more you let go and not have overthink it and just let your your hand and your mind and your pen just just flow the more you'll create things that you didn't even know you could like oh that looks really cool i was just kind of just letting letting my mind take that out of my head i mean really you know how to draw a horse. You know how to draw things. Your mind does. You just got to, um, not overthinking, let it, let it do it and, and get better at it. I'm going to do a really big square here. And then, you know, it was really cool too. You, if, you, if I wanted to, if you've seen like the, the Croc and Birdie illustration with, with all those scales, just leave it. If you want to make it really detailed, like leave one out, like just make a, make a, a line like that, like a border around an, uh, a block and then put a different color in there and then just blend it. And then you have like a, a multicolored, I mean, if I really wanted to, to make it look trippy and iridescent, like a scale, I'm not, I'm not trying to make it look like a snake. It's not going to look like some kind of scaly thing when I'm done. It's more like, you know, like Grandpa Leon. It's just a, just a different type of art style. I don't know what you call this. Maybe do a circle here, kind of change things up because things are getting too monotonous in my world. I don't want to get bored. There, now I have like three different directions it's going. I could go in three different directions. You know, just for the fun of it, maybe a couple more in here. I think I'll change the color to a lighter color. Add a couple more around the nose. This is going to be way darker. That's why I'm not too concerned. That's going to be black um, where the nose is. So I don't even know if I have how much of this is going to be seen. But you can do layers too. You can just keep layering it up but it's always going to be darker.
big one here, right where that leg comes out. I mean, I could be just doing this this whole time. So, pretty cool, huh? So let's do a, a lighter color. Keep it, let's do a really light blue right here, just to and then blend it in a bit. Cause I wanna do some lighter blues just to show you how cool that is when you just change it up a bit. So I just did a little more there, there. And eventually it's all gonna be colored in. Uh, I don't think it's going to be comp any, anything's going to be completely white here, so I'm not too concerned about um, making it completely white. I just go by three dimensional, like where is gonna, the light going to be? So usually, like right here, there's, you know, there's a long snout that I want to look out for, and I kind of have a photographic memory where I guess like you can't kind of have one; you either have or you don't. But I know that. If I look, I'm going to touch up some of these spots I see that are still white. I'm just kind of touching them up. So now I'm going to do some dots with a kind of a blue, but a, but not the, the, the lightest blue. But it's going to make it look a little bit lighter. Then I go to the lighter blue at the end. So I'm going to, I can start. Okay, this is bleeding a bit because I just put that. So I might want to wait to do that. I didn't mess it up. Nothing's a mistake. I could always come back and tighten it up later. So I'm going to do some spots that I know that I haven't worked on that much for. for but, um, so I'll do lighter ones here. So I know this is going to be darker. is going to be a little darker. Hmm. I could do the mouth, but I think it's going to be so dark that uh, you're not going to see these. So it doesn't really matter if I put some in there. Um, so let's do darker here. So I haven't shaded it yet but I could always come back and shade it later. So that's why it's, it's some people would, it would uh, make it darker. Yeah. So you can see it dried now a bit. So I'm not too concerned about it. And I, I'm gonna go next to what I've already done. See now it's, it's, uh, it's dried up a bit, so I can go back and touch it up. Maybe to make the, the ears a little bit darker. Yeah, skipping around. I just do what I know I want to do. It might be frustrating for some people. Like, can you just keep doing this one spot? Um, I don't know. I just feel like. It's, it's fun just to, cause I get excited. I get excited about uh, what I want something to look like. That, that's why I usually do the, the head first. Cause and if I really like the way that, that the, the subject looks, like the face, it gets me more motivated. You know, I can do maybe do like another trim, blue trim. Okay, 
right? And now I'm still gonna do some, I, don't, I haven't decided what color hair I want. It might be cool, I could do like maybe red, you know? So in between here, I still want it darker, so I'll just put blue in here. It doesn't matter if it touches too, like, oh, I touched it, doesn't matter, who's gonna even see? Okay. Yeah, three dots. It's all going to be filled in anyways at one point, so I'm just going to keep... Huh? making little shapes. So eventually I'm gonna have to clean this up anyways, but I'm excited. That's why I tend to tend to move fast because I'm excited about what, it, what, what I'm making. So it's an example for a lighter blue. And then I can even go lighter, show you a little bit more. So now this is a lighter blue. So now I could do even a, a lighter, see that's almost uh, it's the same color as the shading. So I could even do the rest of it like that if I wanted to. Um, so you can see now it's getting, uh, you can see how that's turning into the, I'm using it as a way to, to get a three dimensional effect, shading of it all. I like to have them all little boxes at one point. And then come in here and do, I can always come back and change the color to the box of, of, of the um, markings too. I'll come back and tighten it up more later. Once I got a really good idea, you know, once you really got a, a good grip on the way the direction of the illustration is going, then you can just, um, you know, there's way less guesswork. Um, the more you do it, the more you know, like what, what looks good. If you like end up when I want to do the whole thing like this, it's fine. I'll think about do one more color. I don't know, or not. But I you know I could do the rest of it this color. You know, and then also if you want it to be lighter, you can just make, give them, put, put more space in between. And that'll allow more white to come through. I think generally this is going to be a darker image. So, I mean, I, I mean, it's, I don't think I'm going to have a lot of white on the face. That would look really cool. It looks really cool. I'm, I'm excited about what I'm doing. I, I'm, I'm really excited about the way this is going. Uh, maybe we could put more uh, little spots here. I 
that's another one. It just kind of, it's fun to do. You just do a, a, a rectangle that way, rectangle this way. We we'll mix a box, a couple of circles. Okay. Coming together. Making art. Look at that. I'm really liking it. Like, liking, liking it. And, and then I'll come back to it later and I'll look at it some more. And maybe I'll done, and I'll decide what color I want the hair. And the wings, because the, the wings are going to be fun to figure out what color that's going to be. And we could do a little, little black. I have some black, so just for the fun of it. And this is ready to go. So I can do, let's do black around this little glare and then black around the eye. Okay. And this is going to be fun. So they have, I want big eyelashes. So let's put some big eye, eyelashes on that. Beautiful creation that I've made. It. I made. All right. So I know before I said don't do black unless you really you're. You know, but this is India ink, so it's not gonna. Um, it's not gonna bleed. So that's what's really cool about it. And I love big lashes. I love big lashes, so. Line there. So let's do a little bit of the nose. I kind of know what the way that where it's going to be anyway, so let's add a little. That's why I start in the center and go out, because now I've been thinking, okay, I don't know exactly how, how far I want to go. Let's go as far as you know you go, you want to go. really like using, using it's gonna look like he had a big smile on his face <laughs> but that's gonna be all colored in too I mean I could make a big smile I don't know. that's all gonna be black anyways so I can just have fun so probably much how much black actual black on the nostrils I want you know you can see how that's all coming together I'm doing a little more purple. Let's do some big, let's take some big chunks out of this over here. And then this is gonna be the shading of that one leg coming out. So let's finish that out. All right, well, I think I'll stop it there for a while and we'll pick it up from there and think about what I'm gonna do with the hair and the wings and the rest of the body, but I think it's coming together well. Thanks for joining me. Hope you learned some good skills or got some good relaxation or just enjoyed watching something created out of nothing. Um, till then, have a great day. Goodbye.